Hello, my name is Daniel Fernandez. I am the owner of scienceinhydroponics.com and today I want to show you how to prepare a solution accurately. Today we're going to be preparing a solution that will be a magnesium foliar spray. So the idea is that we're going to prepare a concentrated solution that we will then use at a 1 to 100 ratio as a foliar spray. So for this, we're going to be using this magnesium sulfate heptahydrate that I got for, from Walgreens, not sponsored. And I'm going to be using this to weigh the salt. This is a cheap private scale, bought it somewhere. Then I have the distilled water here. We need distilled water because we want to know exactly what we put into the solution. Uh, I have this spray flask that I'm going to be using. You'll see how. I have a spoon, a small glass, and um, this, which is just some small bit of wax paper. So there is also this, which is very important which is a volumetric flask, which is what we will use to prepare the, to actually prepare the solution. So we will be preparing a volume of 250 milliliters, which will be enough to prepare 25 liters of final foliar solution. Now it's important to use volumetric flasks because as you can see, the precision of a volumetric flask is really good, while the precision of things like graduated cylinders, like, I mean, um, the precision of things like, yeah, graduated cylinders is very low. So you want to use something that's very precise, like um, volumetric flasks. So we will be using these volumetric flasks. Now, the first thing that we'll do is ensure everything is clean. So I'm going to be purging this thing with distilled water. So I'm going to do, you just swirl it there to get everything out. I'm just putting all that into a bucket. So this is one and two and just three purges. Now I'm just gonna fill it up to, not to the brim, but just enough for what we're gonna do now. Just trying not to spill a lot of water. Um, and now we want to also purge our volumetric flask, which is what I'm gonna do now. So with the water that I put in there, which is now easier to get. So I'm gonna do it once. Just give it a good swirl. This has a stopper, so you can just shake it a little bit and sure you perch everything there and just three times, which is what we usually do in chemistry. Now, okay, I'll put this back on. Okay, now we're actually going to weigh the magnesium sulfate. We're gonna be weighing 12.5 grams, which will give us a final concentration in our solution in the end of about 50 ppm of magnesium. So I'm gonna be using this scale. So first of all, ensure this thing is dry. I'm just gonna turn on the scale. It says zero. Now I'm gonna put this and just tear it so that I zero it there, and then I'm gonna weigh 12.5 grams of this thing. Just adding it slowly, that's four grams, five, This cakes a little bit, so you need to break it up a little bit. Eight, five. 
11, 9, 12, now 13, I went a little bit over. Okay, so 12.474, which is accurate enough, so we'll know exactly how much we added, which is exactly what we want. Now, how do we transfer this to our volumetric flask? Now, in chemistry, you would normally want to dissolve this in a beaker and then transfer that, but I don't have one right now here, so I'm just going to use a, this wax paper. So I'm just going to prepare here so that there's like a direct path. Use it as a funnel then get all of this in there. You can see it got in there. There's still some left here. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to use my fancy thing here to just like get anything that was left on the paper. And now I'm going to just dissolve this, just add a little bit of water and just get this in there. So there's still some. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Important thing is to make sure we fully transfer all of these into our volumetric flask. So I got some there and now you also want to just wash it in the end. Make sure you get all this in there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the walls. So there, now we have all our magnesium here. It's not dissolved yet, as you can see. So what we will do first, turn off the scale. Let's just put this away. Now we need to dissolve this before we take this. So this has a small line, which I don't know if you can see, but there's a small line around here. And what we need to do is we need to take this to this volume, but we want to ensure this is dissolved before we actually do that. So in order to do this, we need to add a little bit more distilled water. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take my water from this flask and I'm going to add just a little bit more and I'm going to swirl it like this. Notice that I'm not putting the cap on and trying to shake it like that because when you do that some of the solution can exit and then can damage the accuracy of your solutions. So I'm just swirling it like this. Um, normally what you would do if you had a beaker is that you would pretty solve this in the beaker and then transfer everything but you can also do it this way without any problems so the important thing is to ensure that all of it is dissolved and you can see that it's not that's my wife's hand that's, <laughs> that's so that you can see so everything is dissolved now. So now that everything is dissolved, we can actually take it to the final volume. So what I like to do in order not to, um, you don't, you don't want to go past that line and you want to get to that line so that the, so if the line is here, you want the meniscus that the water forms to be just above that line. So what I do now is that I just add water to this. until it reaches close to here and then what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to get a syringe that you can see here this is just a regular plastic syringe and I'm gonna use this syringe to actually get to the final level so I'm gonna get this a little bit closer just to the edge here because this final bit of volume here doesn't take much. So I'm just gonna use this syringe 
to get this to the final volume. So you want to get your uh, eye level right where the meniscus is. So you want to get your eye so that you only see one line. You want to get your, uh, uh, your eye level to the point where you only see one line and not two. And then you're going to just add this until the meniscus is right above the line, right there. Now you close it and you will just uh, mix it like this up don't mix it like this you don't mix it like this you just do one up down up down up down and this will be your uh, final concentrated solution now you can use this syringe or a similar syringe to just take out from here and a syringe is very uh, well pretty accurate so you can use syringes, which I will show you at a later video, how you can take a solution like this to uh, prepare your final foliar solution or whatever. But this is now your concentrated solution. So you could actually use this to prepare 25 liters of uh, magnesium foliar spray that would give you 50 ppm of magnesium, which is pretty low for a uh, magnesium foliar spray, but pretty good if you want just a... Uh, um, a very very mellow magnesium spray so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this don't forget to like and subscribe because this is the first video ever and <laughs> hope you liked it and i'll see you on the next video